Without gospel music, there would never have been a Sam Cooke, a James Brown, or an Aretha Franklin. All of them have roots in the sanctified sounds of gospel music. I'm Cece Winans. Please join me as we explore the history and influence of gospel music on rock and soul. When I was a little boy, in the mid-20th century, gospel quartets taught the first rock and soul artists how to move and moan. The quartets were like our first superstars. They bring the swag. Stars like Sister Rosetta Tharp showed how divine music could be with her ecstatic shredding on the electric guitar. She influenced Elvis Presley. She influenced Johnny Cash. She influenced Little Richard. These religious musicians built a bridge to the mainstream. And he puts this record on. He starts out with his signature. You knew it was Sam. I love you, I love you, I love you. You know, going on. Reverend Robinson said, that's Sam. And he said, God is not going to be happy with that. Though some didn't think worldly influences had a place in this music. They offered me $100,000. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> That pop, one pop song. I got in the hotel room, and the Lord began to deal with me and let me know not to cross over. Please join me as we explore the history and influence of gospel music on rock and soul. Listen to Saturday night and Sunday morning, the gospel roots of rock and soul from NPR. Walk together, children. Don't you get weary.